listen. You hear the music long before you pinpoint its source. Follow the melody and you'll find a musician performing. His stage, a bus stop tucked in between the sidewalk produce stands at the Glendale Farmer's Market. This is John Sherman. His music provides shoppers a break from the normal everyday sounds of the city. He is the ecology-minded Pied Piper of Brand Boulevard. Each note seems to draw the curious a little bit closer. And that's when you notice the music is being amplified by a portable solar power generator. It's on right now, but you don't hear it. You hear the, you hear the traffic, you don't hear this generator, but it's generating right now. I'm plugged into it. Uh, my sound system is powered by it. So it's quiet, non-polluting, uh, and it's a renewable source of energy from that yellow star in the sky. So even if this were a cloudy day, um, I could power all day on just the stored energy in the batteries. Sherman says it only makes sense that he set up shop here at a farmer's market. He considers himself to be an eco-musician, putting equal emphasis on the ecology and on his music. What I sell on the street here is a homegrown CD. I'm doing everything myself as an independent artist, um, growing this product uh, with solar power, with the, the sun, just as all the fruits and vegetables have been grown. So I think I fit into the concept of the farmer's market in the sense that um, I'm, growing, I'm growing my own music, selling it here on the street. Inspired by nature, Sherman writes his own music, produces his own CDs, and using solar power, records, duplicates, and prints them at his home studio. His mantra is energy independence, and if you ask about his instruments... This is a bass recorder. ...or the solar power generators, there's a good chance he'll stop performing long enough to explain how it all works. The concept of a solar generator is basically very simple. You've got the photovoltaic panels uh, soaking up the light of the sun. And storing that electricity as electricity in these deep cycle batteries. The 12 volt system, these inverters convert the 12 volts to regular house voltage. Uh, that you can plug into for usable energy. What I've discovered works with a battery system is car audio. So these are car amps. They're wired directly to the batteries. I think I'm the only solar powered sound in town. There, I, I don't have a lot of competition. I'm hoping to make it uh, so that everyone's onto it. And, uh, so it's not such a novelty? Yeah. As an environmentalist, that's my objective, to make solar power more popular. And I do that through the music, demonstrating it through the music. Beautiful, very touching. I'm from South America, so I know all the sounds of the clothes and canas and that touch me a lot. Sometimes just playing a few notes on the flute uh, touches people and is what they need to hear that day. Well, of what I heard, excellent, excellent, excellent. And you don't see those kind of instruments to begin with. You, uh, normally you wouldn't see something like that, but uh, it's very earthy. And I'm an earth sign, so uh, it gets to me right away. Sometimes walking by and they see, oh, solar power. Wow, and it's powering the music. And that, that's what they need to see. And we need people like him, you know. He's being promoted to save the, the nature of the oaks and stuff like that. So I'm proud to help somebody like that and also I enjoy it. Enjoy it, even though each note from this self-taught musician competes with the noise from the street. Uh, that's a stress. That's different kind of sound. <laughs> but listen to that. 
Yeah, listen, and that will speak for me. And I think that you've got to get out here and demonstrate the difference, show people what works as opposed to what really isn't working, what's polluting the environment. It's not the ideal place for me to play to be heard you know, for my music, but I think it's a good place to show off solar power because it's working. For years, John Sherman has been a familiar face at Descanso Gardens in La Cañada. He recently moved his act to the Glendale Farmer's Market, and we're told he already has a strong following there. That's our program. I'm Val Zavala. For everyone here at Life and Times, thanks for watching.